So, today we will discuss uh, about some of parameters which are useful for crystal structure. So, this uh, we have seen that we have seen that 7 crystal system where this uh, the uh, lattice points are considered uh, at the corner of the uh, unit cell or this uh, uh, pattern unit. So, but brevis considered the off center or off corner uh, some lattice points which uh, satisfy the condition that the surrounding of those additional of corner points uh, uh, satisfy this uh, the surrounding uh, will be uh, same as the surrounding of the corner points. Okay. So, this uh, so for so considering this up corner points. So, this 7 crystal system basically it is a 14 brevis lattice So, uh, so let us consider the cubic system cubic crystal. So, for cubic crystal cubic crystal system have three baby lattice. So, one is uh, simple cubic simple cubic crystal. So, this So, this simple cubic this uh, corner has lattice point each corner has lattice point. So, 8 corners 8 lattice point. So, another Davis uh, lattice is uh, body centered cubic. body centered cubic. So, in this case uh, So, 8 corners is uh, are have having this 8 lattice points. In addition along the body diagonal along the body diagonal there is a uh, one more lattice point. So, along the body diagonal if you this and uh, I think uh, if I just add this one. So, here there is additional lattice point. 
So, this, this is the body centered cubic pistol and then face centered another baby slate is face centered. face centered. So, in this case, so if you So, 8 corner will have 8 lattice point as in case of simple cubic. Okay. And at the in each phase, so there are 6 phase phases. So, in each phase uh, at the center of each face there is a there are additional uh, lattice points. So, it will be here, it will be here And two more from this face. And this other one is this face. So, six additional 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 additional uh, up corner points. So, it forms the it is it is the uh, face centered cubic crystal. Okay. So, uh, this for other crystal system also there is its additional uh, additional uh, 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 baby slatis. So, like orthorhombic it has 4 uh, baby slatis and uh, this these 3 simple body centered face centered orthorhombic and in additional base centered. Okay. So, that we have discussed. So, today basically what we want to find out that some parameters. So, which are uh, useful to study the crystal. So, this uh, if we want to calculate some parameters say one is uh, number of lattice point number of lattice point. Or you need cell. So, how to calculate that uh, we want to see then what is the volume of the uh, unit cell how to calculate that one volume of the unit cell. Then uh, also one can calculate the number density of unit cell means uh, uh, how many number of 
how many number of lattice point per unit volume. So, basically if you calculate this too, if I write this will be say n and volume of unit cell is V. So, lattice point density in the unit cell or in the crystal lattice point density. that will be say it is rho n lattice point density say rho n it will be n by v right. So, if, uh, if we want to know the mass density in terms of mass if we want to know the density of the crystal. So, then if say it is rho m. So, how we can find out? So, we know this uh, one gram mole of any material contains Avogadro number of uh, uh, atoms or molecules. So, here say uh, atoms are at the uh, lattice point. So, uh, so, so, mass of Avogadro number of atoms. So, this so mass of one atom will be uh, this molecular weight divided by Avogadro number. So, this for one. So, if n number of per unit cell n number of lattice point or atoms are there. So, into n. So, this is the total mass of the uh, atoms in, in in a unit cell. So, volume of the unit cell is V. So, divided by V. So, that will be the mass density. Okay. So, then other parameters also there is a like packing fraction packing fraction Tracking fraction of a crystal, this uh, basically uh, unit cell have volume. Now, uh, what is the uh, what are the ratio or proportion of the volume occupied by the atoms? So, volume of the uh, say V volume of the atoms in a in in, in a unit cell divided by the volume of the unit cell. So, this ratio will uh, is called basically packing fraction. So, how much packed with the atoms in that crystal. So, from that this data one can uh, understand. This other parameter is here this coordination number. Coordination number that is basically uh, for any lattice point how many nearest neighbors are there which are uh, equidistant from that uh, lattice point. So, that is called the uh, uh, coordination number. Okay. So, that also uh, we will calculate. So, let us calculate first this number of lattice point per unit cell. So, this is the uh, in case of simple cubic. So, in this unit cell 8 corners are there. So, 8 lattice points are there, but now this. So, this it is not that 8 lattice point per unit cell, because this each corner because this is, a, this is a one unit cell in a crystal. So, crystal basically is formed or lattice is formed just uh, uh, translating this unit cell in all directions. Okay. So, so each corner will attach with how many 
in which cell that we have to find out. So, you can see that so this side there will be one ok. So, on top of it two more. So, these four will have this corner ok. So, uh, so this these are on this plane if you think that is uh, one is here and two more are on top then this side four more unit cell will be there. So, basically each corner will attached will attach with the eight unit cell. So, this it, it will share with eight unit cell. So, for each uh, unit cell this uh, it is uh, it is uh, it will contribute one eighth of this one eighth of each uh, lattice point. So, we have eight lattice point. So, basically effectively it will be one lattice point per unit cell ok. So, similarly for other cases we can um, calculate. So, let us I think it will be easy to understand if we see some model. So, so this uh, so we have model for uh, simple cubic pistol. So, this uh, so, this is a simple cubic crystal ok. So, this 8 corners 8 lattice points 8 corners 8 lattice point right 8 lattice point. So, now if we see here if we see here here. So, here just think this the this one each one is one unit cell each one is one unit cell right this one two three four then below four are there. So, total uh, eight unit cell now if you consider just one corner just if you consider this corner right. So, this corner so this corner is attached with this unit cell this unit cell and this this top four as well as this bottom four ok. So, so similarly if you extend this if you extend this so you will find that each corner point will attach with eight unit cell as as it is ok. So, so, it is obvious that it is uh, it will have uh, uh, one eighth contribution to each uh, uh, unit cell ok. So, thus uh, that is what I have written uh, one eighth into eight corners. So, it is effectively one unit cell per unit volume ok. So, this it also expressed nicely here uh, if you see this this is a uh, simple cubic. So, 8 corners are there see just uh, in each corner in each corner. So, this is the uh, lattice point this uh, portion is that is 1 8. So, this 1 8 this side 1 8. So, this this one is so it will be half and top this uh, uh, 4 parts. So, that will give half. So, this uh, total will be for 8 corners. Uh, 1 8 into 8 corner 8 lattice points so that effectively will give uh, 1 ok. So, similarly for other one if we consider the body centered cubic. So, this is the body centered cubic right as I have drawn and in model you can see. So, this is the uh, cubic uh, uh, unit cell. 8 corners are there, 8 lattice points. So, one more at the center of the body. So, 
So, then easily you can calculate how many lattice points per unit cell. So, obviously, 8 corners will give you one contribution effectively one lattice point per unit cell and one more there in body. So, it is not sharing with any other uh, unit cell. So, total will be uh, 2. So, for uh, for body centered for body centered uh, so it will be 1 8 so I can write uh, 1 8 into 8. So, there is a from the corner plus this one in body. So, it is uh, effectively 2 to 2 lattice point per unit cell. Similarly, for face centered cubic how many will be there? So, from model we can see. So, I have uh, oh. so this is the this is the face centered cubic. So, you see 8 corners are there. So, 1 8th from each corner. Now, if you see this each face will basically uh, uh, attached with the 2 unit cell. So, on top of it on top of it another unit cell on top of another unit cell. Okay. So, this this face centered that lattice point. So, it will share with the 2 unit cell. So, it will contribute half to each uh, unit cell. Okay. So, that is a here this you can see this uh, this half of the lattice point in this unit cell. So, I have 6 uh, um, faces. So, this from opposite faces. So, 1 these 2 opposite faces 1 more. So, other 2 opposite faces. So, one more. Okay. So, total 3 plus from corner 1. So, total we will get 4 uh, unit cell uh, 4 lattice point per unit cell. So, here basically we are getting 1 8 into 8. So, from corner plus half from each face. So, into 6 face equal to 4. So, in face centered cubic, so we have uh, 4 unit cell uh, 4 lattice point per unit cell. So, uh, so this n basically for this simple cubic it is 1 n equal to 1 for this n equal to 2 and this for face centered n equal to 4. Okay. So, next let us calculate the volume of the unit cell. Volume of the unit cell. So, let us concentrate for this case uh, for uh, cubic or basically uh, you can consider tetragonal as well as uh, orthoromic also where these crystal axis are mutually perpendicular to each other. So, in this case uh, volume we can write. So, I think I, I can so volume we can calculate taking the dot and cross product of uh, uh, that is crystal axis. So, crystal axis if it is A B C if it is A uh, that is say B and that is say C. Okay. So, what will be the volume? Volume we can write uh, in this case, okay, I will write A cross B dot product with C. So, 
A cross B is basically the uh, you know the I uh, I mentioned probably. So this uh, this tells about the area. It tells about the area. Okay, this is the area A cross B. So this is B axis. So this this parallel to this. So this B and this is A. So this area is uh, AB. A B. So, here if I take I can write A B sin theta I can write A B sin theta, but if it is uh, uh, cubic crystal or tetragonal or, or uh, orthorhombic. So, this theta is 90 degree. Okay. So, it will be 1. So, it will be for cubic system or this orthorhombic system it is A B and uh, if it is cubic, so it will be a square. So, they are a equal to b and uh, and direction this is this is the plane this is the plane and direction will be say unit vector n. So, that will be perpendicular that will be basically uh, perpendicular on this plane. Okay. So, then I can write this, I can write this. Okay. So, in this case if it is cubic or uh, orthogonal system uh, means uh, uh, this all three axes are mutually perpendicular to each other. So, this n it is the direction will be c direction. So, this n is basically c direction unit vector towards this towards c. So, this cost product if I take a b c and this cos theta say if I write just one angle. So, so this theta is uh, 0 basically right because they are in same direction. So, it will be cos 0 is 1. So, it will be a b c. Okay. So, for cubic crystal it will be a equal to b equal to c a equal to b equal to c for cubic system. So, it is a cube. So, volume of the unit cell cubic unit cell is a cube for tetragonal or uh, orthorhombic it is a b c. Okay. Uh, uh, I think tetragonal it is a square a square c and orthorhombic it is a b c. Okay. So, so now you can so this this uh, uh, volume is this volume is same for simple cubic for body centered cubic and this face centered cubic right. So, easily I can calculate density I can calculate density. So, rho n for simple cubic I think I will write here this for simple cubic rho n equal to n by v n is 1 v is a cube. Okay. So, that will be the lattice point density for simple cubic lattice point density for body centered cubic it will be 2 by a cube and lattice point for uh, lattice point density for uh, body centered cubic will be sorry for face centered cubic will be 4 by a cube. Okay. So, if you know the uh, mass of one gram mole material then Avogadro number is known to us. So, for that material just we can get the mass density. Okay. So, that way if, uh, we can calculate these parameters and these are very uh, important parameter that we will see later on. So, similarly this other two this uh, packing fraction as well as the 
um, coordination number we can calculate. So, for packing fraction uh, to calculate the packing fraction we need the radius of the atom. So, here we have considered the lattice point. So, uh, actually it is not representing the real crystal. So, to get the real crystal, so these are just uh, mathematical concept. So, for real crystal basically I have to we have to add so with lattice we have to add basis it is called basis then we will get real crystal system real crystal system right ok. So, real crystal system I think real crystal system. So, so this uh, so basis is basically atom or group of atom attached to the each lattice point in same manner. Okay. So, uh, that if it is one atom it can be just at the position of lattice point, if it is two atom say sodium chloride in case of sodium chloride in case of sodium chloride. So, each basis will uh, each basis will consist one sodium and one chlorine atom. So, that sodium and chlorine just uh, it is I am not putting exactly just one can put this way. So, here one sodium here one chlorine. So, then we have to put attached this group of atom in same manner. Okay. So, these are called basis. So, lattice plus basis with each lattice point will give the real crystal structure. So, now this in real crystal structure there this atoms are there or group of atoms are there then to know the packing fraction. So, we have to find out the radius of the uh, atoms and we have to assume that in at 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 the uh, smaller distance smaller distance between the lattice points ok along that this atoms will touch each other. So, from that assumption from that that concept one can calculate uh, find out the radius of the uh, atom and from there we can get the uh, packing fraction of the unit cell as well as it will be uh, required for calculating the coordination number of the uh, lattice point. Okay. So, I will stop here. Thank you for your attention.